Rexford. It's not Rex. It's Rex. It's Rexford. 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 What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I have the day off from work, so we are going to have a little bit of lunch out. The place we're checking out is called Visher Ferry General Store, and there's a small little shop. Um, actually, I just found out about it five minutes ago from Cassie. She follows them on Instagram. So um, we looked at the menu. It looks kind of like a little cute thing to do. So there's turkey sandwiches. There's a couple different things on the menu that seemed intriguing. They have baked goods. I'm going to get a cookie. So uh, we're going to go there, pick up a turkey sandwich, a cookie, and, uh, you know, go from there. It's good that Cassie has her finger on the pulse for a lot of these places that we try out because if left to my own devices, I'll just eat a Taco Bell every single time. We're checking out this new place. I, I'm excited about it just because I like trying new places. You know, I, I don't know anything about it, so I'm, I'm going in with no opinion at all. I haven't seen anything aside from their menu on Facebook. So I'm excited to see what they have to offer. Another thing that's kind of interesting about this is we're using Google Maps to get there. It's in a place called Rexford, which is like, dr driving wise, it's like 15, 20 minutes away from us. But if you look at the map, because of the river, it looks like it might be like one minute away walking. It just looks like it's like that close in terms of geographic, but we have to go around a number of roads to get to there. If there's any places that you want to see us check out, leave a comment down below. It really helps me decide and figure out places to go eat because like I said, I, I kind of go into these mental um, mind blocks where I forget places that I want to try. So leave some comments. I always take notes on the comments that you guys leave. So uh, that'll help me tailor the content to what you want to see. time that we're actually able to eat out in over three months so we're excited we're sitting down in the nice little area where they have like umbrellas up and it's pretty hot today but it, it hasn't reached the peak it's supposed to be in the 90s let's take this off and um so yeah turkey sandwich we we're gonna split a salad we got some cookies looks like we have another bag Turkey. All right, we're just gonna dig in here. Oh yeah. There's the cookie. See the white uh, sea salt on top of it. All right, let's dig in. So we got our sandwich, and like I said, the turkey is really substantial. Slice kind of thick. Really good. They put like a mayonnaise on it. It's a lemon aioli. It's really good. It's like a, an upscale version of like the turkey sandwich you would bring to school. Really tasty. The, the mayo has like a good tang. Delicious. Got the salad here really really nice the, the nuts look really good let me see if i can pull them into the frame here so nice and like crusted with sugar and stuff i have a nice bite of this there's some berries in here 
It's a red, white, and blue salad. It's kind of like 4th of July themed. Mm, that's a really good salad. So finish the sandwich and salad. We have a little salad left, but we might fight over it after I have my cookie. So it's definitely a really soft cookie, not like ridiculously large or anything. Mix of milk and dark chocolate in there. It's a good cookie. The salt kind of helps accent the sweetness of it. This is one of those cookies that you bite into it and you're like, this is obviously homemade. Very good. So we're just pulling out from lunch at the general store. It um, was very good. Nice little like low key lunch for a day off. Um, perfect little little spot in the patio there too. And we really enjoyed the food. I actually uh, didn't think I was gonna like the salad as much as I did. It was, it had like berries and a, a lot of nice lettuces. And the dressing was really nice. It was, I don't know, it seemed like maybe a strawberry vinaigrette or something like that. But the real star was like these spiced nuts that they had on it. They had like a mix of cashews and almonds. Very good. I would, um, I would definitely come back here for like a low key style lunch again. Most of the clientele was on the older side, which we, um, we attribute to the fact that, um, you know, it's kind of a laid back place to go and it's a work week, but it also is a really, really nice area. And I'll see if I can get a little bit of the neighborhood here. You'll see this actually has a lot of the largest houses that I've seen in the area with the exception of like Loudonville. That looks way back. Yeah, Cassie just said, you know they're big when you can't see them from the road, but there were a couple of really gigantic ones, like comically gigantic, really close to the road. There you go, look at that. So that is a pretty big house. So that's our first trip into Rexford. 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 <laughs> Rexford. I call it Rexford. There's an O in it. It's it's not it's not Rex. It's Rex. It's Rexford. 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 <laughs> so that's our first trip at the Rexford. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel. It helps the videos get out to more people. Uh, comment down below with some ideas for new places to check out for Dairy X Dines again. And make sure you're subscribed. Hit the notification bell to get notified when new videos are posted. I try to post one to two times a week, sometimes three if we're lucky. So that notification will tell you when the new videos are up so that you're not guessing whether you missed something or not. Thanks so much for watching and we are going to see you in the next video.